I, you know, I'm not complaining about the weather, but I am complaining about what this warm weather has been bringing us. I'm talking about those yellow jackets. You know, those pesky yellow jackets? Everywhere, yes, right? They're everywhere. They are everywhere. Yeah. And Western New York really is buzzing all about them. Not just people who are feeling the sting this time of year. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley explains. This little pug named Olive was recently stung by a yellow jacket wasp. So was this dog. There seems to be more now than there were, you know, at the end of June. And the yellow jackets were chasing this dog when they got inside a residence. They were really trying to sting him and just kind of bother him. This fellow's name is King and he likes his outside walks, but his owner told us she is constantly on guard. I kind of just steer clear, swat and run. Earlier this week, we told you how mild winters have helped the yellow jacket population explode this year, making it tough to be outside. But the insects, which can sting multiple times, are also taking aim at your pets. They might be pawing at their face, they might be like licking their paw if they were stung, you might see a little area of redness. In most cases, a sting is nothing to worry about and can be treated with the same medicine used by adults for allergies. Sometimes it's also as easy as of giving, administering some Benadryl. But there are situations where a yellow jacket sting can be a serious concern. If um, a dog or a cat swallows a bee or they're stung near their throat, that would definitely have a, make me a little bit more concerned. So any respiratory difficulty, any trouble breathing, any vomiting, um, any disorientation, I would say seek care from a veterinarian immediately. And some pet owners said they are now keeping a closer eye on their animals because the yellow jacket threat is everywhere. She chases the bees. You know, I, I tell her not to do that all the time, you know, because, you know, worried about them stinging, you know. The big question now, how much longer will the swarms of yellow jackets be around? Probably another couple of weeks till it starts to get cold. While yellow jackets and pets are a big concern, having someone who is allergic get stung can actually be life-threatening. More on that at 6 o'clock in Buffalo, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News. You know, even with this nice weather, you notice when you try and eat outside, oh. all of a sudden, right? There, it, like the last couple of days, it seems a lot of bees. Even when I'm just around. walking on the grass, they like to hang out right on the top of the grass, and I've stepped on a few of them. Important information yeah. from Ed tonight. Hey, take a look.